actions and and actions as dark matter candidates. So take your time. Up the the clock there. Thank you. So thank you very much. Uh, first, I want to thank the organizers for for having invited me and so to, to this to this place to this very nice place and also for for organizing this buggy tour to get yesterday. So I think it was very wise for me that I changed to the dark matter subject and that did not switch to neutrinos. So <laughs> I had <laughs> the pleasure to go to this uh, to this uh, tour and was really was was really fun. So let's go in media's race. Should I start this? Uh, it starts when I click the button or what? It is the time doesn't start, but uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I think we we we, o we we are all here because we all 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 we think that unraveling the nature of dark matter is at the moment the pro the the most urgent problem of particle physics and cosmology. And moreover, the non-observation of, of WIMPs at the LHC and in the direct detection dark matter experiments gives, uh, uh, gives a strong motivation to focus also uh, on alternative candidates, in particular to very weakly interacting slim particles dubbed uh, as uh, WISPs. When particularly well, particularly well motivated WISPs are uh, Nambu Goldstone bosons uh, arising from the breaking of global symmetries introduced to other to solve other problems so for example the axion which arises from the breaking of of Pechic wind symmetry which would then solve the strong cp problem or the myoron uh, uh, breaking of the lepton symmetry solving the neutrino mass problem or flavon breaking of lepton flavor symmetry solving of flavor passes and moreover there are even theories which which uh, where the axion is at the same time a myron or at the same time a flavon and so on. So, uh, so we are. So, w I want to concentrate mainly on the axion, but but many things. So, at, uh, in particular, in, in particular, the part, the the uh, dark matter aspect for a very light uh, axion uh, uh, are very similar to the to the to the uh, to the to the dark matter properties of a, of a, of a, of a myron wisp or of of a, of a flavon so and and th these other particles we often just call axion like particles or alps now uh, so the, the 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 axion starts from the strong cp puzzle so and the strong cp puzzle uh, arises because of, of an extra term in, the, in, the, in quantum chromodynamics. So if one, if one considers the action in quantum chromodynamics, of course, everybody, uh, everybody in particle physics knows. So the, the, so the, main, so the, so, so the, the, the main ingredients in the action of quantum chromodynamics are, first of all, the, 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 uh, the gauge kinetic term of the, qua of the quarks, which are color triplets under the SO3 uh, gauge group. And and in this in this uh, in this uh, gauge covariant uh, uh, kinetic term, there is also I in particular the, the, the interaction of, of quarks with the gluons uh, is is uh, manifest. And there is the there is the gauge kinetic uh, 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 term for the for the gluon fields uh, uh, and uh, in involving the the gluon field strengths uh, uh, squared, so to say. And in, in this inherent, there are the th there are the triple and four gluon interactions, very typically to non abelian gauge theory, and 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 these gentlemen have developed uh, this 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 quantum chromodynamics in the early 70s, and Gross, Wilczek, and Politzer got uh, the, the Nobel Prize for 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 uh, for having uh, developed or, or having first calculated. The, the, the running of the QCD coupling, which 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 uh, corresponds to an asymptotically free theory uh, from these uh, self interactions of, of of the gluons. However, immediately after after this development, already uh, uh, these gentlemen, Belavin et al., Toft, Kellen, Deschner, Gross, Shakif, and Revy, pointed out that there should be there is a, there is a, another term possible and necessary in QCD, 
And this is a term, this, this has also, like the other two terms, this has dimension four. It, it has, it, here it's a contraction of the gauge field strength in, in QCD with, uh, with, with its dual, which is essentially a an, an, uh, 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 gauge field strength contracted with a four-dimension epsilon tensor. So they pointed out, first of all, that this, that this term is possible, but it's also necessary to include. Now, first of all, uh, originally it was thought uh, this, 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 this makes no uh, contribution to any dynamics because, uh, let me go back once, because, because, it can be written as a to because it can be written as a total derivative. So this is essentially this, uh, this uh, chi, chi dual term this is uh, this is oh this was one too <laughs> too much this is a to this is a total derivative so it can be written as 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 a divergent of a current which is called the chern simons current and so first it thought was thought i mean this is completely so it it's 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 uh, it does not contribute to the equations of motion therefore it does not contribute to the feynman rules so there's no contribution at all from 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 such a term but these gentlemen above, they have noted that this, that in a non-abelian gauge theory, in, uh, in particular in SUN gauge theory, it's, it's important uh, because, if you if, uh, because of the topology of, the, of, the, of, of, the of gauge fields. And in particular, if one calculates the space-time integral of this, of, of, this, of this quantity, of this current, then one gets a contribution from the boundaries, which, which, is, uh, which is quantized. So it's a topological, a topological quant quant quantity. So this, so, so, so this term gives gives rise to to an integer number for any gauge field which which approaches the vacuum gauge fields in, at at uh, large distances. So so it contributes to the path integral, and therefore it cannot be uh, neglected. Moreover, because it's such because it's quantized. So in general, you should a you sh so th so th the parameter which measures, so to say, the strength of this topological term, this parameter has to be uh, because in, in the path integral, I mean, I mean this appears in, in, in the action, and it, it appe appears with an with an uh, in the Euclidean path integral with a, with an with an i in front with with with, with a root of, of of unity, and therefore this 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 will be a, this is a phase, so to say, o and therefore. This theta is an angle, so it, it c you, you can suppose it, it varies between minus pi and plus pi, and 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 so if you now consider then the, the, the QCD is not only charact characterized now in the ultraviolet by the strong coupling alpha s and by the quark masses, but you should also know so so there is another parameter, the, this theta angle, and and so experimentally we should try to measure this theta angle and find out so how, how, how large it is. So, so this, is a, this is one of the fundamental parameters of QCD. Now, so what, so as I said, in, in, in perturbation theory, it makes no contribution, but non-perturbative, it can make a contribution. So now, first of all, uh, then, uh, so what are the effects of this topological term? Now, this topological theta term, this chi, chi dual, you can also write out now in terms of field strengths of the gluonic of the gluonic field strengths, and it's nothing else like electro uh, uh, color electric field dotted into a, a color magnetic field, and such a su and such a term violates uh, T uh, invariance and and parity invariance and thus CP. So uh, so the so uh, uh, the question is. So how large are these uh, are C, uh, are CP violating effects due to this theta bar or uh, theta term? Now, uh, now the and and this is a different kind of of, of CP violation than th the one arising from the from weak interaction, which uh, which appears in uh, in in non-diagonal flavor interactions. Here it would appear in diagonal flavor interactions. So the most, but the most sensitive probe of T and P violation in flavor-conserving interactions is, is the electric dipole moment of the neutron, which changes the slips its sign under the under this uh, under under CP. So uh, so uh, and uh, uh, 
already also in, in his early, in, 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 in the 70s, uh, Witten and, and, and others, they have estimated using chiral perturbation theory uh, 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 the, the size of this effect, and nowadays the best calculations are still using QCD sum rules. Uh, direct calculations of the lattice are very, very difficult of this quantity, so they are it's not sure whether they really give already non-zero results, so the, so, the, so, the, so the error bar is very large. So, but, but the result, because you, you have to do, to, to do this in, the, in unquenched QCD, so, so in, in, in QCD with active flavors, with so the quark, you have to take into account the whole flavor sector in order to calculate this. Now, so the, so, the, so the latest calculation, with still a quite a large error bar, has been by Pospelov and Ritz. And so they, ha they have found that, this, that, 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 that the electric dipole moment uh, due to, the, to, to this effect of the neutron should be 2 times 10 to the minus 16 e centimeter. So you can understand this. So, so, so very naively, you would expect it's, it's just the size of the nucleus or so, 10 to the minus 13 e centimeter, but it's a bit suppressed also due to quark mass effects, so to say. So it's a bit, uh, it's, it's a factor of, of 10 to, or 100 smaller uh, due, to, due, due, to a, due to a chiral suppression factor. Now, but if you, if you consider the experiment, uh, it th in an experiment, there was never observed until now uh, an, an electric dipole moment of the neutron. Experimentally, it's, l it's less than 3 times 10 to the minus 26 e centimeter. So you conclude from that that the theta bar must be less than 10 to the, 10 to the minus 10. And this is, uh, this is the strong CP puzzle. I mean, it would, so uh, an, an anthropic explanation, you could just say, of course, may maybe, maybe we could uh, explain it anthropically, but this would, uh, uh, if, if it's smaller than 10 to the minus 3, then there's no influ influence on nuclear physics and so on, and, and the world would just like, like it be. So it's much smaller than anthropically considerations can give. So, uh, but already in this time, uh, uh, Roberto Pecci and Henry Green, they proposed the solution of this uh, strong CP puzzle. Uh, and this is the, I call it the axionic solution of the strong CP puzzle, puzzle which is in a nutshell, they proposed a mechanism how th th which replaces the theta parameter in QCD by a dynamical field. So it will be a, th a dynamical theta field, so to say. So and how can you do it? How can you understand this now in, 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 in more no modern terms? What they did is you add to the standard model a Nambu Goldstone field, so which is also which is now also an angular field. So a theta of x is is a, is a, a di normal dimensional scalar field divided by some constant dimensional full constant f a, which we will call the axion decay constant. And this and this uh, Nambu Goldstone field, this field uh, uh, should respect a nonlinear nonlinearly realized u1 Petschek wind symmetry. That means the theta, if you if you add to theta constant, then the Lagrangian or the effective uh, Lagrangian of this of this theory should remain uh, invariant. And but this symmetry should be should be broken, but only by a broken only by the coupling to the gluonic topological charge density. So that that there is so so that this field should be, so to say, linearly coupled to the topological charge density in, in, in QCD, to this chi chi dual uh, 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 density. And, uh, and so, in this sense, act as a dynamical theta field. Now, if you have such a thing, then, of course, you can eliminate the QCD theta parameter, because this appears also in the Lagrangians, like just like a theta bar like this, by a shift. So you do just a shift. You the rest of the theory is shift uh, has, a sh has a shift symmetry, is invariant, and, 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 and here you do this shift, then you remain just with this term. So th and, then, and then you have a, a term which, which, which is exactly like the QCD theta term, but with a dynamical field theta of x, alpha s over 8 pi theta of x g, 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 g tilde. 
But now then you realize that, that, that of course, the, 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 the self-interaction potential of this, uh, of this scalar field, of this, uh, of this uh, theta field, of this number Goldstone field, uh, will, have, will be exactly the same as the, de as the dependence of the vacuum energy on, on the theta, B theta bar parameter. And the dependence of the vacuum energy on, of, of, of on the theta bar parameter, you can just calculate using uh, chiral perturbation theory. So this is, uh, this is uh, uh, quite an, 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 an easy calculation, so to say. You, uh, you, uh, uh, and and, and, uh, and, and so, so the calculation has been done originally by Di Vecchia and Veneziano. Th they calculate the vacuum, the, 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 the theta dependence of the vacuum uh, energy in QCD and, and this calculation one can just uh, translate or is, is just uh, exactly uh, giving the, the self-interaction potential of the, of, the, of the axion field or, or of this theta field. So we have an explicit expression for this field. So it, it goes like the V of theta uh, depends uh, 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 on, the, uh, on theta via, via cosinus. So, so it's, it's, uh, it's periodic, first of all. And uh, and the quark masses enter somehow in this, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, and the quark condensate, the chiral condensate. And but but the most important thing here is that you can predict that this that this field. So it's, so you have solved the strong CP problem. You can solve the strong CP problem because this potential at theta equal to zero had an absolute minimum. So it's it's zero at the minimum uh, at, at at the minimum. And therefore. Uh, in the vacuum, the strong CP problem is solved. Whenever you have uh, add to the standard model such a number Goldson field, which has such just such a coupling, coupling, QCD itself solves the strong CP problem, in a sense, by because the vacuum energy uh, in QCD has this has this form. And uh, and moreover, of course, the then but then also you also what what we are directly infer from this plot is. That 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 this axion field will have a mass, so there is a second derivative around zero. So this will be a massive field. The mass is determined by the second de derivative around the ar around the minimum, and uh, and uh, so with the with, with the solution of the strong CP problem, you also get automatically that the that the corresponding particle, which has been dubbed uh, an axion by by Frank Wilczek. Because axion is a is a detergent, uh, 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 clean cleaning detergent, which you can buy uh, in the in the states. I I, I got a I got a also in Roma Romania, for example, you could also buy it. So I have I have one bo one box of of this axion detergent, and and uh, Frank Wilczek said that this solves this solves a st a, 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 or cleans the the fuse the uh, uh, a problem arising from an axial current in QCD, and therefore uh, I, he thinks it's a, an appropriate name. Now, and then ju just now from QCD itself, so, so, this, so as I said, the particle excitation is then the number goes on both an axion. The topological susceptibility in QCD, so the two-point function of the topological charge density, which I have written here, determines the mass in units of the decay constant. And uh, and recently, this has been more precisely determined than just by 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 this uh, by this uh, chiral chiral uh, expression uh, by by the by the lattice and by and and also uh, the next next to leading order or, or ev even next to next to leading order chiral perturbation theory. And this is the present. Uh, uh, so, so if you if you if you then take this. This uh, topological susceptibility calculated in QCD, and 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 and, uh, and uh, plug it in, you then you get uh, you that the axion has as a mass of order uh, uh, six milli electron volt, but with a with a very small error bar. Uh, if if a is of the order of ten to the nine GeV, so if the if this fa this constant which we have introduced here the axion decay constant is large the axion mass is small and essentially 
essentially, so to say, so it's like a it's like a seesaw, but now a seesaw from, from which involves here, so to say, the so, so uh, in in a numerator, it involves so to say the the, the size of chiral symmetry so chiral symmetry breaking and of the QC and the and the QCD scale, so to say, in the numerator instead of having uh, some uh, lepton symmetry breaking scale or Majorana mass scale. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, no, Dirac, Dirac uh, neutrino mass scale uh, in in uh, elect in the seesaw mechanism. So, but now how then there now how can you get such a, such a field from a from a renormal uh, renormalizable ultraviolet completion of the standard model? So th and this uh, this uh, you get. Uh, you can imagine there's quite a simple way to get such a dynamic theta field. So you start with a singlet complex scalar field sigma, which features a globally, globally uh, spontaneously broken global U1 Petrick wind symmetry. So it should have an inter uh, an, a self interaction potential itself. Now looking like uh, like the bottle of the of of a, uh, the the, bo the 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 bottom of a wine bottle. I was told I should not call it Mexican head anymore. So that is, uh, it's the bottom of a wine bottle. And the particle excitations, uh, now you can, you can, of course, uh, read of the particle excitation after in, in the, uh, arising from this spontaneously uh, uh, symmetry breaking potential. So you, you, you write the sigma field in terms of a radial component and uh, or a fluctuation around the weight, uh, uh, the, uh, around the radial component and in terms of a phase. And of course, now the, the mass of the particle excitation of the modulus of this radial component will be, will be uh, proportional to this Petschig wind symmetry breaking scale, to this VPQ, which, which is, so to say, the radius in this field. And the mass of the particle excitation of the phase is, first of all, it's, it's just zero, because there is nothing, that if you just start with that, so, so, it, so, so th this is a, Massless Goldstone boson. Now, in the next step, uh, you 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 uh, suppose that 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 colored fermions, either the fermions from the standard in the standard, the colored fermions from the standard model, or extra colored fermions, exotic quarks, carry Petschig-Green charges. That the U1 Petschig-Green uh, symmetry is broke uh, bro is broken due to a gluonic triangle anomaly. So the divergence. Of the of this fermionic current uh, should should uh, should be an anomalous and should should get such a such such an, an, uh, an, an anomaly and and this n so to say counts more or less than the number of quarks running of of or fundamental fundamentals uh, running through, through through this loop. Then in this case, you find that. Uh, that the low energy effective field theories at energies above above lambda QCD, uh, but uh, but uh, but uh, be but below the below this uh, 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 below the, the the weak scale, looks like uh, alpha s over eight p. So so it's it's really has a so so this this uh, theta field where theta is now this phase A over FA, and FA can be identified with, uh, with uh, VPQ, VPQ divided by N. Uh, you get this low energy interaction of this, of, 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 of this theory uh, uh, just like a, like a theta term. And, and so, so such, a, such a construction Im Im uh, immediately leads to the axionic solution to the strong CP problem. And you, you of this axion decay constant, more or less with the Petschig wind symmetry breaking scale, up to this, up to this, to this factor n. Now, and moreover, the couplings to the standard model at energies be below the QCD scale, you can if infer now by integrating out the gluons, uh, uh, and then you you, you get this co this cosine uh, type interaction potential, which you can expand. Uh, in powers of 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 of, one of, uh, of 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 the fields, and the leading power is of course the quadratic, and this is just the the, the, the mass term, and the mass we have already derived that it goes like one over FA, 
and then the interactions in, in general you will also have interactions such uh, such uh, ff dual interactions with photons uh, uh, with a with a with, with a certain coefficient ca but the, the interaction will be suppressed by 1 over fa and in general you will al also have such uh, interactions with with the chiral uh, with, with, the, with the chiral uh, densities uh, which are derivative interactions with the fermions in the standard model so because i mean you want to have the shift the shift symmetry is only violated by the anomalies and the rest of the shift symmetries should uh, uh, should be intact and therefore uh, you can only have derivative interactions of the axion and again also these interactions they are all suppressed by 1 over fa so the so so uh, the couplings of the standard model suppressed is by powered by by one over uh, FA, and in principle, if FA is very large, the mass is very small, and the interactions are very feeble. So this is a there this is the reason why a number Goldstone boson and in particular a pseudo number Goldstone boson like the axion uh, is a natural WISP uh, candidate. The photon coupling has a, has 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 one piece which is which is more or less independent from the more or less independent from from uh, from the uh, UV completion because uh, because the axion is with the pion and this arises from the mixing with the pion and there's a model dependent piece which uh, which uh, which arises through this number of anomalies or to this anomaly numbers from the color anomaly and this are from the electromagnetic anomaly which which, which is so we'll generate it here the nuclear couplings. There is also a, a contribution which is which is uh, coming f just from uh, from the mixing of the pion, and the rest is ultraviolet dependent. And the electron couplings are very model dependent. So we have seen we naturally get a get a get a get a get a, get a uh, uh, to, to for a large decay constant. The axion is ve uh, uh, very light. And uh, and very invisible, so it could be a dark matter candidate. First, before I start in into that, uh, I will just mention shortly the, ac the astrophysical axion bounds, the evolution of stars, uh, to, to from from the main sequence of uh, versus the red giants to the helium helium burning uh, branch, and then to the white dwarf uh, to, to to the white dwarf state. It's very sensitive to uh, additional energy losses, and if you co consider color magnitude diagrams of global clusters, you can you can infer, so to say, uh, 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 you can in, in infer, infer energy loss rate, or you can compare the energy loss rates uh, from theory with 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 the actual actually number numbers of of or, or, uh, of, of in a, in a color magnitude. Uh, diagram of global cluster stars, and for example, the particle emission in, in a red giant, the particle emission will uh, will delay helium ignition and the and and will increase the core mass, and so so correspondingly, uh, uh, so to say, that there could be a, t a, a rising the, the, the tip in the in the uh, in the red giant branch could give information about energy loss. Also, the particle emission uh, uh, for in, in a horizontal branch star reduces the helium burning lifetime that means the number of helium bur uh, of helium burning or uh, horizontal branch stars and uh, and so so from this from this kind of of, of of things you can derive bounds on the on on the on the cooling on 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 the, on the energy loss and and th therefore also on on the uh, on the parameters and for example from the from the red shine cooling rate the red kyling chewing rate, as I said, uh, that could could influence the brightness of the tip of the red giant branch in the color magnitude in the color magnitude bra branch, and and uh, and uh, to date investigations have found an upper limit on this electron coupling, where this electron coupling is related uh, uh, so so the C A to the C A E, which I co uh, have given before by this factor and the electron mass defined the by, by the decay constant. So this should be less than 4.2 times 10 to the minus 13. So the from, the from the from the horizontal branch coo cooling rate, one gets an upper limit on the on the axion photon-photon coupling, on this FF dual coupling, 
uh, which is 6 times 6 times 10 to the minus 11 GeV to the minus 1, and from the white dwarf cooling rate inferred from the white dwarf luminosity function, you get also a limit which is comparison to, 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 to this above. Uh, and so, after all, now from this, now finally you conclude the axon is really a wispy dark matter candidate because it, 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 actually it, it really has to be very light and very weakly interacting since from this above, if you ta take these this, this typical limits, then you find this Fa should be larger than say 10 to the 8 to 10 to the 9 GeV. And then, uh, so, so, so it's really very feebly interacting. And, and, and the mass should be uh, less than a uh, few milli electron volts just from this uh, from from these inferences so and then so it's, it's a dark matter candidate so let's look into that so how is ax dark matter generated so it's it's a completely non thermal mechanism so so now uh, at, at at very high temperatures in the early universe there is the fa the, the Peche Quinn phase transition so this, this at, at very high temperatures, the potential is essentially uh, has, has no, uh, no minimum, uh, at only one minimum at, at, at zero field. So, so it's, uh, it's th the symmetry is restored. And at, at temperatures below the Petrick wind symmetry breaking scale, the, the transition takes place. And then you can talk about, ab about axions and this, and this row ex excitations, these scalar excitations. And the axion field, this, this angle, will take random initial values in causally, causally connected domains in the early universe. So that it will have different values, this angle, in, in different causally connected uh, domains. And, when uh, and, and then, in, in the beginning, so if you consider now the, ax the field evolution in one of these domains, then in the beginning, to, to due to this Hubble, exp Huxley, Hubble expansion, uh, the field value is frozen at its initial value and this continues to be frozen at its, at its init init initial value until the Hubble expansion rate drops to the, to the axion uh, mass. And as soon as, as the Hubble expansion rate, which is, which is plotted here, goes, drops again to, to, to the axion mass, which is plotted here, then the field starts to oscillate around, around zero. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, it, and so it's an oscillation on, uh, in, in a quadratic, essentially quadratic potential, and this exactly behaves like, uh, has, a, has, has, a, has an equation of state behaving exactly like whole dark matter. So, uh, and this is the reason, so, and, and, and more or less you can also understand this, this is something like a coherent state of many, many non-relativistic uh, non -re uh, particles. And uh, now, in order to, to make a, a, a solid prediction, you need QCD input from the lattice. Uh, so first of all, the equation of state. Uh, uh, and this has been determined recently to a very good accuracy in the, in, in, in the, in the temperature range relevant for, axion, uh, of for, for the axion evolution. And also the, the topological uh, susceptibility, which has been also calculated in the same Nature by paper uh, uh, also to a very very high accuracy. So the uh, so the thickness of the line is the is the error bar in the determination. Before one had only calculations uh, using uh, using the dilute instanton gas approximation, which after all turns 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 not so bad. After. So it, it gives it gives exactly the same slope, but it gives a, a, a factor of ten uh, difference in the in the in the uh, in the absolute normalization. Now, there then, th now there are t essentially two scenarios which we have to distinguish. Uh, so, if the Petrick wind symmetry bro is broken before or during inflation, so which means if the Petrick wind scale symmetry breaking scale is larger than uh, than the Hubble expansion rate during inflation, and not uh, and and if the if the symmetry is not restored afterwards. Then the axion uh, CDM density depends on the single initial value in the patch, which becomes the observable universe. Uh, uh, and, in, and, and in addition, it depends, of course, on FA. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and roughly speaking, 
so the so so the uh, so the amount of of uh, axion uh, uh, of axion uh, dark matter generated by the by this vacuum realignment mechanism uh, uh, can be can be uh, given given like that, and uh, so it depends quadratically on this initial angle, and and it depends on F a on a power which 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 is mainly determined by the slope of this topological uh, susceptibility, susceptibility so so y so that you see for a theta i of the order one uh, 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 this uh, this uh, f a should be of the order of 10 to the 10 gv or the axial mass should be of the order of micro electron volt to give the right relic abundance of dark matter if you want to, if you go to s to smaller, if if you go to higher F A or to smaller masses, then you n then the the angle should be somehow fine tuned or, or selected, so this anthropically selected to to a, to a smaller value. But it's not very dramatic. So I mean, uh, even if you go to the gut scale, it's, it's ten to the minus two times ten to the minus three are still uh, are give are right for the gut for a gut scale action. However, you get an upper bound on the scale of inflation from isocurvature fluctuation produced by the axon during inflation and not erased af afterwards, which is, which is uh, for example, for a nano-electron volt axon, it's of the order of 10 to the 9 GeV uh, on the Hubble expansion rate during inflation. I should also note that this vacuum realignment mechanism works also for an axon-like particle, of course, if you now, if you assume that the mass and the and, and the and the and the decay constant are completely unrelated now for an axon-like particle, then and and the axon mass doesn't depend at all on the temperature. This is a simple expansion. Then you then you then you would get, for example, that the that you get the, the relic density for a mass in a nanoelectron volt of to order 10 to the 30 GeV and theta i of order one. So I mean, so so you can. Any 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 bosonic uh, any uh, scalar boson with a very small uh, with with a non-zero mass or a small mass can generate uh, uh, the, the the dark matter by this mechanism. So it's very very generic. Uh, now, much more uh, predictive in principle, much more predictive is the post-inflation Petrick wind symmetry breaking scenario, because in this case. Uh, if, if the symmetry is broken after inflation, you have you have to average over 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 the many initial axion field values, and therefore, for example, the the, 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 the contribution from the vacuum realignment mechanism depends only on the mass. Uh, and from this, you you could in principle also infer an, a lower limit on the axion mass. So if you s if, if 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 the uh, uh, if you say so uh, yeah, uh, and this lower limit is 28 microelectron volt, uh, which uh, uh, in this case, uh, okay. Now, however, the complication in this post-inflation uh, scenario is that uh, that axions in this case will also be produced by the collapse of the network of topological defects, strings, and domain walls. I mean, you have a global si just on, on topological reasons again. Uh, if you if if if, the, if this glo when when this when this uh, global symmetry is broken, uh, 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 you you will uh, strings strings are produced in the early universe axion strings, and these strings they will oscillate and rotate and so on, and and they will and, and they will emit they will emit axion, and at the e at, at the very end. You even have domain walls, which are for for this p parameter n, which uh, I gave before, which are uh, a short-lived if its n is equal to one. So the domain walls will be very short-lived, but if n is equal to large, they will they will be long-lived, and, and they, c they could also con their, their decay could also produce uh, axions. And this you cannot just uh, you cannot easily calculate like wi like with the, with this vacuum realignment mechanism and there have been many very big lattice uh, real time uh, lattice uh, evolution uh, investigations and uh, still at the present state of the art uh, 
we 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 only know from from this investigation so th uh, that that uh, and this is and this is very active at the moment uh, that the axion mass in this post inflation patrick wind symmetry breaking scenario should be around b uh, between something like 25 micro electron volt uh, up to 4.4 milli electron volt so it's a huge range and uh, and so uh, and it can be that it's it, it will never be completely uh, uh, decided because the, these simulations in, in the simulations you should uh, you should uh, be able to resolve at the same time these very thin strings which have a size of the order of the uh, 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 of the Compton wavelengths of the of this row particle so to say so and so it's very very thin and the whole universe so to say and, and this is. Uh this is very uh, difficult. Here, are, here, are the, here, here you can, for example, see the strings initially, and this is the, uh, the here. Uh, here you, you see the strings for n equal to n equal to one. The the, the the domain walls, which are bluish here, are always uh, surrounded by strings, and and then they can uh, shrink and here but but they all all this will radiate axions and depending on the spectrum whether it's ultraviolet or infrared dominated you get contributions in the upper or the lower end of this of this mass and uh, and this seems to be very difficult to simulate so i'm on my summary slide uh, so i think it's very so so axions and axon like particles and number goes from bosons they are very well motivated uh, dark matter on and non-thermal dark matter candidates. The, 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 the axion, the QCD axion mass uh, already spans a huge range. So uh, in the pre-inflationary models, can be the, the, the mass can be between, uh, uh, between uh, micro electron volt up to very small uh, masses. And the post-inflationary models uh, is it really micro electron? I think it's it is it's electron volt. No, I think this. I'm just thinking. Uh, we had the axion. I think it should be electron volt. Because let me see. Uh, I s I said six micro electron volt is the was was the spot here. So it should be electron volt. Sorry for the typo. In the post-inflationary models, you tend to have the, 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 the higher masses. But you see now, you have a huge range of masses. And in the next, in, in the next talk, I will talk about how to how, uh, now, nowadays uh, 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 different experiments try to tackle different ranges in, in, in these masses. And, uh, and for an axon-like particle, the parameters if is even more open because you have two parameters, you have uh, even so FA and the mass are not related. Thank you. For the moment. So we will have another talk from him right after. So, um, it seems that one prediction of the um, these actions is that the theta parameter should be exactly zero. Is that correct? It's only yeah. If you consider it, it's it will not be this the contribution from QCD with, with zero. If you have another contribution to to CP violation, it can be shifted away from zero. But the uh, okay. So because I was wondering if you could test this prediction via um, neutron electric dipole moment.